Knowledge is power. Welcome to power. Hi, my name's Kanona Westmore, and this is That's Education. We all love laughing at animals, at their silly antics, their fluffy tails, their witty repartee. But did you know there are lots of different kinds of animals? Let's take a look at a few of them now. The cat. A small, furry animal with sharp features and even sharper claws, the cat lays its eggs close to the food bowl, so that when the kittens hatch, they don't have far to travel to get their first meal. This means that the freshly hatched kittens are protected from any potential domestic predators you might have inside your home, like the, the mountain hog or sky weasel. Most crabs can only move sideways. However, there is a crab known as the master crab who doesn't have these same restrictions. The master crab doesn't just move sideways, left to right and right to left, but backwards, forwards, up into the sky, down into the ground, and also through time and space. You won't find this crab on the menu at your local crab shack. And if you do, don't eat it. The master crab is a vindictive crustacean. And if you eat one, the rest of them will travel back in time and consume your parents. And you, you will no longer exist. And finally, the octopus. A strange, intelligent creature who many believe are not of this world, but that's just speculation. Until we can learn the octopus's language of beeps and boops, We'll just never know where they're from. But one thing that is certain is the octopus is an ironic creature. The octopus uses ink for self-defense, but sharp knives to write letters and practice calligraphy. What does it say? We may never know, but what a strange and beautiful language is octopusian. We're joined now by fellow animal lover and longtime friend of the show, Dr. Abignail Spencer. Hello, Abignail. And who do we have here? Uh, this is the spotted mongoose. But there are no spots. Not on the outside. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, Abignail, but you work mainly in conversation. No, in conservation. <laughs> conversation. Every day, 150 to 200 animals goes extinct. And you know, it's so rare that it's the shit ones. Every now and then you see a species die and you think, okay, about time. Good riddance. Yeah, I'm surprised it survived this long. But most of the time when an animal species dies, it's a good animal. It's very sad. Very sad. And Abignal, where do these animals go when they die? Ah, Konana, they go to, they go to heaven. Even the bad ones? Yes, tragically. But we don't want the species to die out because we like the animal. We like looking at him. We want to see him thrive, don't we? And I guess to make sure that they do thrive, it's your job to go around talking about it. That's right. Because you're a conversationalist. It's now time to look in the That's Education mailbag. Okay. Our first letter comes from John Rogerson of Prayer Meadow. John asks, how does the human body heal? Well, John, if you've been to a health store lately, you will have noticed heat packs and cold compressors. That's because the human body can't actually heal at room temperature. Ever been in a temperate room, John? I bet you weren't healing. Our next question comes from Thomas. He's 11. Thomas asks, what are dreams? Very good question, Thomas. Dreams are warnings from the soul. If you have a bad dream, that means your soul is in trouble. <laughs> Thanks for your question, Thomas. And our third question for today, our final question, comes from Zainab Bakari. Zainab asks, what's your favorite animal? Very appropriate question for today's show, thank you. My favorite animal would have to be the ox, because it is a mysterious animal. It is often mistaken for a hug and a kiss. Z, X, P, E, 
I have 2020 vision, and by that I mean I can see three years into the future. And by that I mean I still have three years left of being blind. Today we're looking at the human eye. Until then, that's education.